Hey, it's Ruben in the shop bringing you another auction haul. I thought auction season wasn't going to be slowing down out here, but it looks like it's ramping back up. I'm a reseller out of New Mexico. I'm full time. I sell lots of things, especially clothing, media, collectibles, art, anything. I spent $225 at this estate auction. I mainly bought media and a few other things, including that. Um, we're going to go through this stuff. I'm not going to go into too much detail with the media because I haven't gone through it yet, but I'll explain to you my mindset in buying and my mindset in selling. Let's check out what I got. Let's start with this. This is just a rolling file cabinet. I don't really need it, but I thought I could use it. It has a shelf underneath. I've always thought it would be interesting if I stored all of my ephemera in envelopes like that or what do you call those folders so i might do that might not this is staying in the shop i'm not selling it i'm not shipping that but it was like 12 bucks or something it just seemed like a good deal something i can use it's not this lot of mugs they're just plastic mugs made by thermos um three schlitz four schlitz two old milwaukee's um they're not very valuable i'll probably lot these up to 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 see how they do i'll put them on ebay macari and etsy and yeah they're not high dollar but they were super cheap got some decanters we got five decanters here uh you want to be careful with decanters because there are a lot of them out there some of them hold some value some of them don't first one was this oil guy uh tulsa international petroleum exposition i thought that would be good on Etsy. I'll also look to see if they sell on eBay. Got this one. Uh, what does that say? Aaron Go Bra. Four, uh, three Leaf Clover. It also has a song box on the bottom. Um, again, that's probably going to be an Etsy thing. This is really cool. Football decanter. NM on the side for New Mexico. So that would have been UNM, the Lobos. Um, I couldn't find any other UNM ones. I'm pretty sure they did ones for every, not every college, but a lot of colleges. I'm going to try to get 75 bucks for that on eBay. We have this one. It's national champion, 7071, Nebraska. It's the football coach. What's his name? Bob Dowry. Not sure. Impressive record though. Again, eBay and Etsy, I'll put that on. And then we have the oil industry provides energy, enterprise, and employment. That's that. Um, again, that's an Etsy thing. I got these two little pictures. I can't quite tell if they're originals or if they're prints. It says Janice May. I, I haven't done much research on these yet. I had a good look and they were cheap. Also got this sand painting clock. It looks like the dial's messed up. It might need a new dial. I bought it just on the off chance that that would be real turquoise on there. I'm pretty sure it's synthetic turquoise. That's just a little $15, $20 thing. Next was this. You guys know what this is. Maybe pause the video and put in your guess as to what this is. You'll see it does have Reagan stickers on it. And this from Baggage Claim, coming back to Albuquerque. All right. So what this is, is this is from the Republican National Convention. I'm guessing in 79 or... Um, 83? Not sure. This was held by one of the delegates as they marched into the auditorium, uh, the estate that I got this out of, he was a delegate that year, uh, both years for Reagan. So these are not too easy to come by. I haven't seen a lot. I saw one on eBay from Kansas. They're asking $800 for it. Um, Reagan is a very popular president. People collect him. So, Maybe I'll ask a similar, similar price. It is going to be a beast to ship. I did find out that there's this... Uh, I'll, I'll put a link or a picture up right now. 
there's this new shipping service and they can do like $30 flat rate FedEx up to a hundred pounds, any size. So that's how this is going to ship out. Um, we'll list it and see what happens. You can see there's some media, more media, more media, more media, more media. Very nice collection here. Pretty much bought this person's whole music collection. Um, it was advertised mostly as country music, which is a tough resell. But what I was, but here's what I saw. I saw this cassette like that. Sparks. Sparks is a girl group out of Albuquerque, I believe. They're considered like a Tejano Tex-Mex. So I was like, ooh, there's Tex-Mex in here. And earlier this week, uh, Commonwealth Picker posed the question, what is it that you find in your area that can only be found in your area that you're, you're doing good reselling? And for me, that is definitely Tejano Tex-Mex music. You're really going to only find that in Texas and... New Mexico. So that's Sparks. That's Los Tejas Tornados. That's Selena. So I'm excited to go through this stuff. Also, what I figured is I'm going to get this Tex-Mex stuff. I'm going to have a bunch of this um, country. What do you do? I'm going to lot it up. So I'm going to go through all this stuff. and see where we got George. We got Gatlin, Statler Brothers, Waylon Jennings. Look at those. Those are all George Strait. So I'll do a big lot of George Strait cassettes. That will do well. Big lot of Hank Williams Jr. Lots of Marty Robbins, Floyd Kramer. Just lots. Where are we here? Dwight Yoakam, Alan Jackson. I even saw Dwight Yoakam somewhere else. Here, Dwight Yoakam. So I do have to go through them, get everything organized. I got the 8-tracks. Pure... Oh! <laughs> ah! Ah! Let's let that one go. I got the eight tracks just for their uh, these lazy. What do they call them? Lazy seasons, something like that. For the the rack themselves, I get twenty five bucks for the rack. So there's fifty bucks right there. Um, got some CDs. They were cheap. So I went for it and got some Christmas cassettes. So a lot of stuff to get in order. I like this. These are jewel cases. They're brand new. CDs, cassettes, they're like the only inventory you can have where you can replace the, not the box, but replace the case. It not affect the value. It can only increase the value. So that's something to consider. And finally, I got two lots of 45s more cassettes back here um and all kinds of different music i saw this one this is the first thing that popped out to me this red vinyl it is a ben pollock but look at how scratched it is so they're gonna be rough i paid 40 dollars all told for the two lots of 45s there were some in this box that were all in their sleeves with 45s one 45 can do it for you so that's why i did it I know there's going to be a lot of uh, Spanish music in there. That's all right with me. I'm accumulating a very large Spanish music collection for myself. Um, so it, for me, it's just going to be fun. That's $40 worth of fun all day. And that's what I'm going to do all day. So that's what I got at the auction. If I find any super uh, finds in this media, I will tack that on to the back of this uh, video. So it's about four hours later. I'm pretty much done um, sorting through things. I didn't finish sorting through the records. I did put them in stacks of, there was stuff I knew didn't have value. I have a stack of Spanish language music that I gotta look up and a pretty healthy stack of stuff I'm not sure about. It does look like there might be some Northern soul, which is the good stuff. Um, I'll probably not get to that till this weekend but let me show you really quick what I'm looking at. So this is the tapes and the eight tracks, big lot of country here. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of Waylon Jennings, um, a lot of Merle Haggard. This one's interesting. 
George Strait number seven. This was released in 1986, so it's a little bit er or a little bit late for an eight track. So this might have some value by itself. There are a few other ones that have some value by themselves. Nothing huge. The cassettes, you know, I'm gonna do a lot of Hank Williams Jr. Ten bucks. A lot of Conway T Twitty. Ten bucks. Ricky Van Shelton. Ten bucks. Garth Brooks. Ten bucks. Jerry Lee Lewis. Ten bucks. This is a bigger lot of like early rock and some other stuff. Three Linda Ronstadt oh, uh, rec uh, tapes. That's like ten bucks. George Strait. I have sixteen plus a single. Maybe twenty-five bucks. Willie Nelson. Uh, these are just um, soundtracks. I've sold lots of soundtracks before. There we have some more Tejano music. Got a lot of Little Joe y La Familia. That should do well. Al Hurricane should do well as a group. Um, and Texas Tornado should do well as a group. Got a lot of Randy Travis. A lot of Dwight Yoakam. That should be good. That's uh, 11 Dwight Yoakam cassettes. And then I'm doing a big lot of women uh female country music so let's move cds so all these tapes are tapes i will list individually um nothing huge in there this one was a couple of kid frost uh he has a song called la raza this is worth like 15 bucks by itself so that i'm gonna try a lot of statler brothers we'll see how that does for 15 Big lot of country, big lot of Spanish music. There is quite a few of these Bobby Joe Ryman CDs. Um, I don't see a lot on the guy, but I figure I'd lot him up because if I can find the one person who wants his music, maybe I can make some money. These are all CDs that will be listed individually. Most of the good ones were Spanish language, so that's cool. Um, and then all of these. I There's... Uh, 49, I think. All these cassettes, I have to look up individually. Spanish language, I'll say one third of them will be good enough to list on their own, and they'll be about 10 bucks a piece. Finally, the records. So, these are the two stacks. I've been collecting records for 20 years now. So, I've seen lots of records. I have a good idea of what's what. Um, I know what to look out for. So that's what these stacks are. I'm sure there's only like four or five really good ones in there. But if there are four and five really good ones, I want to find them. Also, I got this lot of Spanish language. This is could be good, especially if you have like uh, Latin Boogaloo, which is pretty much Latin funk. Um, so that's going to take me a while. I'll probably, like I said, I'll wait till the weekend to get to these just because I need to get some listings up tomorrow. And finally, this is the stack of junk i uh, went through it i know these aren't worth any money just on site um i might look out for a few of those 45 rpm can things and throw them in a local auction because people like having them and i didn't show you this last time i bought this little trash can my pro san francisco i'm gonna put that in the shop bathroom so that's what i'm looking at it looks like a big mess but as far as the lots go, uh, I think I can get them all up tomorrow. That's going to be my goal. They're going to be listed on eBay and Mercari, um, like Selena and maybe Kid Frost and Sparks. I will list on Depop as well. That's what's going on, folks. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. I'm having a good day. Hoping you're having a good day. Let's talk again soon. So, I couldn't help it. I had to start digging through some of these 45s. I knew there was some, there was something in there for me. Already got this nice little stack of winners. Turns out there's a nice little grouping of promo, uh, R&B soul, and garage rock. That's what you want. And I found this one. I found the gem. I had a feeling when I saw it, because I thought maybe this label was special this is the basement wall on senate and the song is never existed backside is taste of a kiss 
This is Fuzz, Psych, Garage, all that good stuff came out in the 60s. And wouldn't you know it, this thing is in really, really nice condition. Look at all that sheen, a little bit of dust, almost no scratching or scuffs. Very cool. So, there's one that sold in July of this year for $390. So, how I'm going to play it is, I'm going to list this tomorrow, I'm going to list it only on eBay, and I'm going to list it for $399.99, and I'm going to bet you it's going to sell before Christmas. Super score, had to share it with you guys, talk to you soon.